Hello, my lovers of wisdom. In this week's episode of Alkistis TV, I'm going to initiate you into the ancient Greek philosophy of hermeticism. This is the basis of a philosophy that worshipped the Greek god Hermes combined with the Egyptian god Thoth. I'm going to share with you seven principles that can help you really understand yourself better and that can help you achieve your wildest dreams. It's a foundational cosmology but I'm going to make it very simple for you. I'm going to give it to you in seven simple principles that will help you achieve your goals and get to know yourself better. Today we're diving deep into the seven hermetic principles. These timeless laws are said to hold the key to mastering not just the world around us, but the universe within. So if you've ever wondered about the forces that shape our reality, or how you can align with the rhythms of the cosmos to manifest your deepest desires, stick around. You're about to discover how these ancient principles can be applied to the modern world to transform your life in ways you may never have imagined. We begin with the cornerstone of hermetic philosophy, principles of mentalism. This principle states that the whole universe is a mind. It is mental. It is the logos. This means that everything we experience in our physical world originates from the invisible mental realm. Our reality is a reflection of our thoughts, beliefs, and innermost feelings. Consider for a moment the power this principle offers. Our thoughts shape our reality. When you understand that, the universe itself is a mental construct. You unlock the ability to mold your world with the power of your mind. For instance, positive thinking isn't just a feel-good strategy. It's a practice of aligning your mental state with the outcomes you desire. Application in daily life. Start by observing your thoughts. Become mindful. Are they serving you or holding you back? Practice mindfulness and meditation to cultivate a positive mental environment. Visualize your goals as already achieved. Feel the emotions associated with that success and watch as your reality begins to shift in alignment with your thoughts. Closing thoughts on principle. One principle of mentalism empowers you to be the architect of your destiny. By mastering our thoughts, we master our lives. As we move forward, remember your mind is not just a part of the universe. In a very real sense, it is the universe. I invite you now to reflect on how this principle resonates with your life. Have you experienced moments where your thoughts directly influence your reality? Share your insights in the comments below. 2. The Principle of Correspondence this ancient principle is encapsulated by the famous adage, as above, so below, as within, so without. It suggests that the macrocosm is mirrored in the microcosm and vice versa. The patterns we observe in the heavens are reflected on earth and within ourselves. The principle of correspondence teaches us that there is harmony agreement and correspondence between the physical realm and the spiritual realms. By understanding this principle, we unlock the ability to discern the interconnectedness of all things. It allows us to see beyond the surface, revealing the underlying unity of the universe. Application in daily life. Start by observing the patterns and cycles around you and within you. 
recognize that the external world is a reflection of your internal state. Aligning your thoughts and emotions and actions with the principle of correspondence, you can create a balanced and fulfilling life to deepen your understanding of the principle of correspondence. Consider the ways in which your personal experience reflect the larger universal truths. The patterns in your life that echo the cycles of nature. How do your inner thoughts and feelings mirror the situations and relationships in your outer world? Closing thoughts on the second principle of correspondence. Correspondence opens our eyes to the interconnectedness of the universe, offering us a roadmap for navigating our lives with greater awareness and intention. By recognizing the reflections between the macrocosm and the microcosm, we learn to walk in harmony with the universe. I encourage you to ponder this principle as you observe the world around you. How do you see as above, so below manifesting in your life? Three, the principle of vibration. This principle states nothing rests, everything is moving, everything vibrates. At the most fundamental level, the universe and everything in it is in constant motion, vibrating at different frequencies. From the largest galaxy to the smallest particle, everything is in a state of vibrational energy. The principle of vibration explains the differences between forms of matter energy, and even thoughts. Each has its unique vibrational frequency. This principle underlies the science of sound healing, the efficacy of mantras, and even the impact of the words we speak and the thoughts we hold. It's why we resonate with certain people, places, and experiences. They match our vibrational frequency application in daily life to apply the principle of vibration. All you have to do is become fully mindful of your own vibrations, your thoughts, feelings, and words. Positive thoughts increase your vibrational frequency while negative thoughts lower it. You can raise your vibration through practices like meditation, singing, spending time in nature, expressing gratitude, and engaging in acts of kindness. Deepening your practice involves attuning yourself to the higher frequencies of love, peace, and compassion. Music and sound are powerful tools for this, as is the art of mindfulness. Reflect now on the quality of your interactions and the environments you choose. Are they raising your vibration or lowering it? Closing thoughts on this principle. Understanding the principle of vibration empowers us to take control of our energetic state by consciously choosing thoughts and actions that elevate our vibration. We align more closely with the universe's natural rhythms, attracting experiences that resonate with our highest good. I invite you to observe the vibrations in your life over the next few days. Notice how changes in your thoughts and surroundings affect your mood and experiences. Four, the principle of polarity. This principle states that everything is dual. Everything has poles. Everything has its pair of opposites. Like and unlike are the same opposites. They are identical in nature, but different in degree. It teaches us that all manifested things have two sides, two aspects, or two poles. The principle of polarity shows us that what may appear as opposites are actually two extremes of the same thing, like love and hate, with many varying degrees in between them. This principle is evident in the laws of physics the emotional spectrum, and even our own personal judgments of what is good and bad. It teaches us that the duality we experience in the world is simply but a perception, and that by changing our perception, we can transmute the poles and experience the unity of opposites. Let's apply this in daily life. 
understanding this principle, we can profoundly impact how we navigate challenges and conflicts when faced with opposing forces or ideas. We can choose to find the balance between them rather than seeing them as irreconcilably different. For example, by recognizing that fear and courage are not distinct qualities, but varying degrees of the same thing, we can learn to transform our fears into courageous actions by gradually shifting our perspective and emotional state to deepen your practice on this principle of polarity. Start by observing the polarities in your own life. Reflect on how you might be viewing certain situations or emotions as black and white. Consider the shades of gray between. Practice seeing the complementary nature of opposites in your daily experiences and experiment with shifting your perspective to find harmony and balance. Closing thoughts on this fourth principle of polarity. It teaches us that the contrasts and contradictions we perceive in the world are not as rigid or absolute or separate as we might think. By learning to see the unity in the duality, we open ourselves to a more flexible understanding and compassionate way of being in the world. I encourage you to reflect on how the principle of polarity plays out in your life and how you can identify areas where shifting your perspective could transform your experience. Five, the principle of rhythm. This principle states that everything flows out and in. Everything has its tides and all things rise and fall as the pendulum swings, manifests in everything. This principle reminds us that life is a series of cycles and seasons, a constant dance of movement and change. This universal law teaches us that just as the tides rise and fall and the day turns into night, everything in the universe is governed by cycles. You'll find this rhythm in the beating of your heart, the breath flowing in and out of your body, and even in the cycles of growth and decay in nature. The principle of rhythm speaks to the inevitable flow of life's experiences and the natural order of the world. Application in daily life. To apply the principle of rhythm in your life, it's essential to understand that while we may not control the flow of life, we can choose how we dance to its rhythm. Recognize that setbacks are merely a natural retreat before the next advance. Embrace the flow of life's highs and lows with grace, knowing that each phase is temporary and necessary for growth. Deepen your practice by becoming more aware of the rhythms in your own life and in the natural world. You observe how the energy in your life waxes and wanes. Practice aligning your activities with these natural rhythms, resting during a period of low energy, and taking action when your energy peaks. By harmonizing with the natural flow, you reduce resistance and find greater ease and effectiveness in your actions. Closing thoughts on the fifth principle. The principle of rhythm teaches us to embrace the flow of life, recognizing that each cycle brings its own opportunities and lessons. By learning to move with the rhythm of life rather than against it, we cultivate resilience, flexibility, and a deeper sense of peace. How do you see the principle of rhythm manifesting in your life? Have you noticed patterns that repeat or cycles that influence your energy and actions? Share your experiences and insights in the comments below. 
6. The Principle of Cause and Effect The Principle of Cause and Effect states that every cause has its effect. Every effect has its cause. Everything happening according to the law of chance is but a name for a law not recognized. This principle asserts that nothing in the universe happens by chance. Every event, every action and state of being stems, originates from something preceding it. Timeless wisdom teaches us that we are not mere pawns in the game of life, but active participants who shape our destinies through our thoughts, choices, and actions. It underscores the power of intention and responsibility, reminding us that for every action there is a corresponding reaction, whether visible or not. Our understanding this principle empowers us to make conscious choices that lead to desired outcomes. Application in daily life. To apply this principle of cause and effect in your daily life, Start by becoming more mindful of your intentions, thoughts, and actions. That every decision you make and every action you take sends ripples through the fabric of reality, influencing your future experiences. Before acting, ask yourself, what effects do I wish to create? This mindfulness can guide you towards actions that align with your highest aspirations. To deepen your understanding and practice of this principle, observe the cause and effect relationships in your life and how they reflect on you and your decisions. Also reflect your past decisions and their outcomes. This practice can help you understand the power of your choices and inspire you to act more deliberately. Additionally, consider the broader implications of your actions on others and the environment, embracing a holistic view of cause and effect. Closing thoughts on the principle six. The principle of cause and effect teaches us that we are the architects of our future. By understanding and respecting this universal law, we can craft a life of purpose and meaning, creating positive outcomes, not only for ourselves, but for the world around us. I invite you to share how you've observed the principle of cause and effect playing out in your life. Are there moments when you've seen the direct results of your actions? Seven, the principle of gender. The principle of gender states that everything has its masculine and feminine principles. This manifests on all planes. This principle suggests that gender does not merely refer to the biological differences between male and female, but to the masculine and feminine qualities present in all aspects of life. This principle teaches us about the balance and harmony between the masculine and feminine energies within the universe, nature, and within ourself. The masculine energy is often associated with action, direction, and assertiveness, while the feminine energy relates to receptivity, nurturing, intuition. Together, these energies create a dynamic and balanced whole. Application in daily life. To apply the principle of gender in your life, begin by recognizing and honoring both the masculine and feminine aspects within yourself. Understand that we all possess a unique blend of these energies, regardless of our biological sex. Cultivating a balance between taking action and allowing space for growth can lead to more harmonious and fulfilling experiences. 
deepening your practice involves introspection and mindfulness about how these energies express themselves in your life. Are there areas where you may be overemphasizing one energy over the other? Engage in meditation, journaling, or creative activities that allow you to explore and integrate these aspects of your being. By seeking balance, you invite greater harmony and creativity into your life. Closing thoughts on the principle seven. The principle of gender illuminates the creative power of balancing masculine and feminine. Embracing this principle can transform how we interact with ourself and the world, leading to a more balanced, creative, and integrated existence. Reflect on the role of gender energies in your life and how you might seek a more balanced expression. Conclusion. We've journeyed through the timeless wisdom that teaches us about the mind, the universe, and the interplay of energy that govern our lives from the mental universe of the principle of mentalism to the balancing act of the principle of gender. Each principle offers us a lens through which we can view ourselves and the world around us in a more enlightened and empowered way. These principles are more than mere philosophical concepts. They are practical tools for personal transformation and spiritual enlightenment. By applying these ancient truths to our modern lives, we unlock the potential for harmony, growth, and balance. I encourage you to continue reflecting on these principles, integrating their wisdom into your daily practices and thoughts. The journey of self-discovery and universal understanding is ongoing and the Hermetic Principles serve as a valuable guide along the path. If you've enjoyed this video, share your support by liking it. It helps me know that you are grateful. Make sure that you're also a subscriber of Algestis TV. Thank you for joining me on this fascinating journey through Hermetic Principles. Your engagement helps to spread the ancient wisdom to those seeking growth and enlightenment in our modern world. Remember the journey within is the most significant journey of all. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep growing until the next time.